Now out here in the garage, getting out of storage, is this old Pioneer cassette deck from 1986 that hasn't been used in decades. I thought I'd take it out and see what we've got here. A little uh, icon of a cassette there and tell the movers, hey, put this in the living room, would you? So let's get this up on the workbench and see what still works, if anything. Looks like I bought this at Buy's. December 30th, 1986. $360. Looks like I splurged and bought the two-year service plan, bring-in service, for $30. For a total of $409 with tax. On the back, just our line in and outs, various documentations and warnings, and our power cord where the mains comes out, and some more detail over here. Nothing on the bottom, really. Looking at the insides, we'll see our Matsushita cassette deck mechanisms. Bando power transformer. A lot of other Matsushita chips. Still pretty clean in here after all these years. Here's a close-up of the remote CUT001. Get your main audio controls there. You can switch between decks one and two. You can skip a song or go back a song. You can record mute. When you're recording, you have to press this button in conjunction with this button. And if you're doing parallel recording, this button in conjunction with this button. Copying this button, normal speed, with this button. High speed, this button, with this button. And here's our numbers to program tracks. Here you can switch your sides and your programming button or to clear it. Special made in Japan. Looking at some of the controls in the front, we have our main power switch, we have our tape deck one eject, tape deck two eject, we have our level meters. This is your mode you want to go in one direction or both directions when you're recording and playing back. Little indicator lights for Dolby B and C on or off. You can set B and C. It'll should light up depending on the type of tape inserted. Our level meters, our tape counter, a timer switch if you're going to play or record on the timer and this should be set off if you're not. Here's our level setter and our synchro copy start high speed or normal speed tape dubbing parallel recording and relay recording and down here you have your main controls starting and stopping the 
record pause will put a four second spot between two recording tapes so you can have a spot for your seek feature to find. Fast forward and reverse and going forward or going back finding a song forward or backwards and play this will light and pause it blinks that will light when it's recording and in reverse that lights or pauses We'll do a little playback test here. Um, audio is going to come out of the Aquaton in the back left there. Uh, it's not the best, but for my setup here, it can act a little bit as an amplifier to plug the cassette deck into. And I'm going to use the remote control here, so we'll start the playback here. These are YouTube songs that I've put onto a cassette tape here. With all of the various times I had to transfer it and then YouTube will compress it and then your system will hear it. It probably sounds better at my end than it does at your end. skip to the next song. I'm not sure if I put enough time between these tracks. Maybe I did. Let's try it. Let's see if it finds one. Switch to deck two with the remote. 
see the light switch to that too. Our walker's tape. On the right deck, of course. direction. Good health begins with good nutrition. By participating in the GNC Walker's Diet, you are taking the first steps toward becoming a more I'm sure I'll forget it later, so I'm going to go ahead and mention it right now. Just to the right of the plus three indicator on the level meter, you'll see that symbol, which is the Dolby reference point. All right, let's try and copy my YouTube music tape. I'm not going to use the Dolby noise reduction because it will only use whatever Dolby is already on the original tape, which is nothing. Setting this to Dolby and try and record Dolby on this tape when copying does not work. It records whatever Dolby encoding is on the original. So we've got a blank tab tape. We have our YouTube tape in the left. I'm going to use the remote here. Let's try and do a normal speed Recording. You saw the record light come on deck too. And you can listen to it during the recording. Wanna listen to all that? And that's normal speed. So we'll stop it using the remote. Now we'll do it again with high speed. You can see the uh, supply deck is really moving there. Let's stop that. Let's go to deck two. And let's uh, rewind this. And let's play it from deck two here. I don't know what that rattling is. 
rattling something when I made that part of it with the little MP3 player. Which is my only recording test on this. between high speed and normal speed. see if we can get it to play songs in a random order as a program let's say you wanted to listen to certain things as a program you can press the program switch and all the you can do like 10 tracks on side A and 10 tracks on side B and now what happens is as you select tracks to play in a certain order you'll use the control numbers here 1 to 10 on this panel did I mention that it has a quarter inch headphone jack earlier? I don't think I did, but it does. So let's say you wanted to start with track two, then go to four, back to one, seven, ten, oops, nine, what do we got here? Three hasn't been done yet, and uh, six, and then five, and then start. And then start. Maybe it didn't register my five. It's played at least 10 seconds of the last track. In the same way, if you press the uh, minus, you can go back a track. So it'll now look for the next track.
you notice the lights are going out and staying out on the tracks that have been played in the program. Start of this one. Okay. feature works. I think you can also do this with recording if you were so inclined. Do random recording in certain orders. So we'll end that demonstration for now. Got the uh, mp3 player that has the YouTube songs on it plugged into the cassette deck. I'm going to make a copyright free tape for future use. song here.
another song here. free song. Well, I've got a cassette tape I can use. We'll thumb through the instructions and you can pause your screen and read them at your leisure. Sorry for any background noises, I'm in my garage with the door open because it's like 90 degrees and all of the neighborhood sounds are out there. They won't stop just because I'm making a video. Matter of fact, I think they increase. some of our pertinent specifications that I'm sure some of you people might be interested in. There's a 1986 date code down here. Well, I'm not sure, but I think we've worked through most of the 
obvious features of this and the um, remote control which was obviously the big seller back then for me I'm sure there are things I could have expanded on more or maybe someday I will I know I want to try this with my pioneer timer might do a wake up to music video on this sometime in the future except the pioneer timer that I have is uh, silver face and not black face they're different eras so it doesn't exactly match well but I might make a video about that using this uh, cassette to wake up to music or something well hope you've enjoyed it this thing from 1986 thanks for watching bye